Hey guys, so I'm here with a tag video. It's not book related though. None of the book related tags going around are really catching my eye. So I decided to do something different. The one thing that I love more than books is music and going to concerts. So I decided to do this little survey thing about concerts. Um, if you guys want to do it, go ahead. If not, that's perfectly fine. I just thought it would be something really fun to do. There's quite a few questions, so let me get right into it. The first question is, what was the last concert that you attended? The last concert I attended was on June 18th, the day before my 21st birthday. I went to go see The Wanted, and it was fantastic. I originally thought that I was in the last row of the first section, but I ended up only being four or five rows away from the stage, which was unbelievable. It was so exciting. I almost passed out from heat exhaustion, but you know, no biggie. The next question is, what bands have you seen in concert most and how many times? I have seen both AFI and Avenged Sevenfold four times each. Do you have any set lists from which bands? I do not have any set lists. Generally, in order to get a set list, you have to be at the very front. And because I am so short and I have no balance whatsoever, I'm generally back in the seats, which is perfectly fine with me because then I can enjoy the show without worrying about being kicked in the head. So I generally don't get set lists, which isn't too big of a deal for me. I don't really mind. Are there any CDs in close proximity to you? Which ones? I have quite a few CDs in this general area, so bear with me, there's quite a few. The first one is Hailstorm by Hailstorm. This is actually a signed copy from back when I saw them in 2010 when they were playing the Rockstar Uproar Festival with Avenged Sinful. The next one we have is Love Like This by The Somerset. Next we have Avenge Sevenfold by Avenge Sevenfold. Next we have Everything's Fine by The Somerset. Next we have Believe by Disturbed. I don't even know why I still have this because I don't even really like Disturbed. Next we have Recovery by Eminem. Yep, I like Eminem. Huge fan. Next we have Aim and Ignite by Fun. This is also a signed copy from back when I saw them last year, I believe, when they were playing with Paramore in Seattle. Now, the next two, we have the Hunger Games original motion picture soundtrack and the Hunger Games songs from District 12 and beyond. Next, we have Awakening by Bless the Fall. Next, we have Avenge Sevenfold Live in the LBC and Diamonds in the Rough. This is actually a live DVD as well as a CD that includes a bunch of their B-sides. Now, next, we have Four copies of December Underground by AFI. We have the Adam cover, the Jade cover, and the Hunter and DB cover. And these are actually signed by the band as well from back when I saw them in 2006 in St. Louis. Next we have Speak Now by Taylor Swift. I saw her back in October and it was amazing. She puts on a mind-blowing show. Last but not least, we have Nightmare by Avenge Sevenfold. This is actually the limited edition Jimmy Memorial, and it has a booklet and stuff in it, and it's also signed by the band from when I met them last year. This means the absolute world to me, and if anybody tried to touch it, I would probably try to kill them. The next question is, what band are you in the mood to see live right this second? Hands down, Avenge Sevenfold. I know that I just saw them back in September, but I am already having withdrawals. They are seriously the best live band that I've ever seen, and I have seen a lot of bands live. So I really want them to come back to Dallas. Next question is, have you ever been on a tour bus? I have never been on a tour bus. I would like to go on one though, just like for the experience. I always see bands doing like tours of their tour buses, but I've always wanted to go on one and like see what it's like in person. Have you ever partied with a band? No, I have not. I'm not that cool. Not yet. How many towns have you been to concerts in? I have been to concerts in seven towns. How many venues have you seen bands play live in? I have seen bands play live in seven venues. Which CD are you addicted to at the moment? 
I'm currently addicted to Nightmare by Avenge Sevenfold. Who is one band that you used to like but now you can't stand? There isn't really a band that I used to like but can't stand. There are definitely bands that I used to like that I don't like really anymore, but there's not really a band that I can't stand. I don't really like Good Charlotte anymore. All their newer stuff. I still like their older stuff, but their newer stuff is kind of lackluster. Have you ever been on anyone's guest list? Who's? I have never been on anyone's guest list. I mean, every once in a while I have friends who are in bands, um, like local bands, and they'll put me on their guest list every once in a while, but other than that I've never been on like a big band's guest list. Last band person that you got a picture with. Last band I got a picture with was Hailstorm back in 2010 at the Rockstar Upward Festival. Um, I'll post it somewhere. I look terrible. I was hot and sweaty, so don't judge me. It was the summer. Do you consider yourself a groupie? I do not consider myself a groupie. No, 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 no. No, 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 not even close. How old were you when you went to your first concert? Um, my first local concert, I was maybe about 12 or 13, but my first big concert, I was 15, I believe. Who was it? It was actually Warp Tour, 2006, um, down in San Antonio. Which artists haven't you seen yet that you want to see? There are so many bands and artists that I am dying to see. The only one that's coming to me right now is Hollywood Undead. I would kill to see Hollywood Undead live. What band do you own the most merch of? Um, it's a mix between Avenge Sevenfold and AFI. I own more A7X shirts, but I own a lot of AFI vinyl records and, you know, multiple copies of certain albums and magazines and posters. Um, but when it comes to stuff that I can actually wear, I own more Avenge. Do you ever do anything crazy at shows? Aside from the normal jumping and screaming, no. Not really, I don't think. What are your favorite venues to go to shows at? I have three. Verizon Theater in Grand Prairie, Texas, uh, the Jexa Energy Pavilion in Dallas, Texas, and the Pageant in St. Louis, Missouri. I went up there in 2006 to see AFI. That's where I met them and it is a fantastic venue. I loved it there. What band do you have the most performance pictures of? AFI and Demi Lovato. Would you ever get a tattoo representing a band? Yes, 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 yes. I have so many ideas for band tattoos, especially Avenge Sevenfold. I have a huge Avenge Sevenfold one in memorial of Jimmy that I am still planning on. Um, it's going to be pretty big, so it's going to take a lot of work, but I am so excited. My first tattoo is going to be an Avenge Sevenfold tattoo. How many concerts do you average a year? I generally go to about two to three concerts a year. Any upcoming shows? Unfortunately, no. 2012 is going to be a bit of a slow concert year, mainly because a lot of the bands that I really love and, you know, would go see are in the middle of writing new albums right now, so I can't really see them. Alright, so that was the concerts tag. Like I said, if you wanted to do it, feel free to do it. If not, that's cool. I don't really mind. I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. I'm still reading Delirium. I haven't really even get up yet. I'm in a bit of a reading slump right now so I don't know when that'll be up. I'm pretty sure the next video that I put up will be a review of that though. I think in the next couple days I'm gonna force myself to sit down and finish it because I really don't have that much left. So I had some trouble thinking of what to recommend because normally all my favorite YouTubers and stuff come out with all their videos on Sunday. Literally all of them on Sunday. So, and since I already posted a video earlier this week, there wasn't really anything new. There are three videos that I wanted to recommend, which I am going to recommend, but I was weary because they are Avenged Sevenfold related, but, and I didn't want to seem like I'm shoving them down your throat. I know that that's probably what it seems like I'm doing, like I'm trying to force you to like them and listen to them, but I'm not, um, you know, not everybody 
is going to like them. I am not one of those people who is like, you have to like my favorite band, otherwise you suck at life. Because it's not true, because not everybody likes the same music. I'm not a freaking music snob like that. But these three videos, one of them is four minutes long, and the other two are like two minutes long. So they're really not that difficult to watch, I don't know. You, you guys don't even have to watch them, like I said. It's a tour stories special that they did with Cinemax, I think, last year or something. I actually have no idea when they did it. They're really interesting to me. They're really funny. Um, but like I said, if you want to watch them, great. Let me know if you like them, what you thought. Um, if you don't watch them, that's totally fine too. I don't really mind either way. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Again, I have no idea when I will post another video, maybe a few days. I have no idea. But until then, I will see you guys later.